Hi, this is Peter with Mob Guppy, where the guppy is the mob. All right, it's time to do a water change, an archaic water change. All right, so I have the 55-gallon Jack Dempsey tank. It's been about 10 days since I did a water change, and it's grown a little bit of algae on, uh, uh, on the glass, so I've got to do that. I'm going to change probably about... Uh, probably about 10% of the water out, maybe a little bit more. We're also going to eradicate some duckweed. So thanks for coming along, and here we go. Okay, here we are. First, I'm going to take off uh, the plastic top. And slide that over to this side and let's uh, well first before we do that let's eradicate some duckweed I have been on the duckweed a couple of times a week and the entire top of this aquarium at one point to 55 gallon was covered in duckweed now I probably have less than 50 uh, of the little jerks still here and so I am on a duckweed assassination squad. Let's see here, do I have any more I can get? Okay, not a ton, but I got some and Again, I think the idea here is try to eliminate the duckweed a couple of times a week and sooner or later it will be gone. Alright, and I have this to squeegee away the algae. Alright, oh, let me grab my towel. I purchased my fish room towel at, of all places, Goodwill for like $1.25. And uh, it is serving me quite well. I wash it uh, every other week or so. All right, let's go do this. As you can see, as I go by here, everything's getting clearer and you're beginning to uh, see through to the delicious fish. They're not delicious, I'm not going to eat them. But we are getting uh, spawning behavior. I, I purchased four electric blue Jack Dempsey's and I have one female and three males. That's sort of how that works, doesn't it? Okay. And it looks like the female has picked a male to spawn with. I'm getting spawning behavior, uh, which is good. And so hopefully we'll begin to have uh, an egg clutch here fairly quick. They have to figure out what to do with the other males, but uh, we'll do that as time goes on. All right. Okay. Let me move over the plastic top. I paid for these, by the way, um, 20 bucks and at Lowe's, and at Lowe's over Home Depot, Lowe's will actually go and cut them for you. Home Depot, they will not. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. So uh, I'll give Lowe's a plug just because they do something for free that uh, Home Depot will not do. And the heater, for whatever reason, the suction cups uh, are not sticking at the moment. So maybe if I clean off the algae real nice here, 
it will uh, take care of business and will stick. All right, I'm not doing the back. I'll do that next time we do a water change. But we have taken care of most of the algae. Now, last time I uh, scoured this side, uh, I siphoned out on this side, on the right side as you're looking at it. This time, we're going to do it on the left. Nice and archaic. Let's go and get this uh, rolling here. Okay. Let's see if we can pull out a siphon here, if I think we can. I'll uh, take some shots in here. The white in the bottom of, uh, in the substrate is crushed coral, water in Little Rock is kind of soft. So we'll just go and we're just going to say goodbye to this water. And even though uh, the thermometer on the glass says it's 77 degrees, I just took a look with my thermal wand and it read it at 79. Now here's the deal, is the uh, water that I have aging is at 72 degrees, so we'll see how, what the average temp is in here after we uh, change the water. And we're going to change out of the 55 gallons, we are going to change out about 8 gallons worth of water. I try to do this once a week, but it's been 10 days. Hopefully this will make the fish very happy, and I hope that the water, just a little bit cooler, uh, will help change and uh, spur spawning. Because I'm into spawning spurring, or spurring spawning. What's the best way to say that? All right. I got a good part of the algae off the front and side glass. Be able to see my fish clearly now. And you may say, well, why so much algae? I, well, I'm feeding them heavy. Uh, I tested the water. The water was just fine. Uh, I'm going to tell you uh, something about uh, crushed coral. When I started the fish aquariums up, and if I test the water right now, it tests at about 6.2 for, uh, um, for the pH. And it's not very hard, at, the water's not very hard at all. Well, I'm going to tell you. Um, I, the water is now about a 7 pH, and uh, the water hardness has gone up very, very quick and very nice. And I just have probably, uh, I have 40 pounds of Eco Complete on the bottom here and probably 10 pounds of, uh, of crushed coral. So that's it.
And that's all I get. All right, we've done it. Now comes the archaic way that I put water into the aquarium. Uh, this water has been aging for a little over a week. And uh, the only thing I have in uh, the large garbage pail that's covered, it has rollers on it, but it's normally too heavy to roll um, if there's water in it. Um, I do a, a, a teaspoon of baking soda. And we have chloramines here in Little Rock's water, so I put a chloramines and chlorine uh, remover and uh, allow that to sit and warm up. Thank you very much again for watching uh, this uh, archaic water change tutorial video right here on the Mob Guppy channel. If you have not subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and also do me the favor of hit uh, the bell. Ring that bell. When you ring the bell, guess what happens? Uh, you get to know when my new content arrives. And 2019 promises to be an amazing year. Uh, you're never going to be happier than if you subscribed and rang that bell. <laughs> well, I hope you're, you are happier. It's just a joke and attempt at humor. You see, not too much to go. Now my portable pitcher here that I bring the water in, this is three liters, and I probably have two and a half liters in here each time I come through. Okay, here we go. All right, again, thank you very much for watching. Another uh, video right here from the Mob Guppy channel. Let me put the top on, and we're going to be ready to go. So let's do this. Excellent. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes, and I have my new toy here. Let's see what the temperature is in the aquarium. Ah, 77.1. And when I started this, it was at 79 degrees. So that's kind of cool. Thanks for tuning in to Mob Guppy, where the guppy is the mob. And again, thank you very much for watching. Join the mob today.